A family in Queens now taking legal action against their neighbor. At the heart of their dispute, a confrontation at a birthday party last year. The family, who's black, was celebrating at their home in Forest Hills when they say their white neighbor took extreme action to end the party early. They say he sprayed them with a garden hose and even threatened them. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negavan with more from Forest Hills. It was a well-planned birthday celebration among close friends in Queens, a happy gathering. That's crazy. Until it was interrupted by a neighbor with a garden hose who wanted this party over. An act this lawsuit says dehumanized our clients. He sprayed them as if they were farm animals. The suit also names a Jane Doe. The plaintiffs claim walked right into their house in this Forest Hills neighborhood with a menacing German shepherd trying to intimidate them. We were afraid. We were afraid. That to me is a sign of aggression coming to somebody to somebody's house with a dog. But neighbor Marcus Rosebrock tells a much different story through his lawyer suggesting he's the victim here of a noisy party that went on for hours even after the plaintiffs were politely asked to keep it down. No, never. That never happened. In fact, the plaintiffs say it was quite the opposite. The more they tried to reason with Rosebrock, the more water he sprayed. Here's what Katja DeSouss looked like after her encounter. He walked back, picked up a hose, and hosed me down while I was talking to him. I know he saw me. We made eye contact, and I tried to speak to him. And that is, every time I tried to speak, he sprayed me harder and harder. Police were called, but there were no charges. Invited to respond to the suit, Rosebrock's lawyer issued a statement saying he politely declines your request because he is committed to proving the truth in a court of law, which is the proper forum to litigate these allegations. The lawsuit compares his actions to the violations of the civil rights era and seeks unspecified damages. In Forest Hills, Queens, Tom Negevin, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.